hello everyone in the previous videos we started with selection screen or input screen then we covered what is select option what is parameter and we dig down into the various variations of parameters and select option our next topic is what are the various parts of select option one of the most most important topic one of the most informative topic because this topic will play a vital role in the upcoming videos so our next topic is what are the various parts of select option so what we will do we will fully understand this topic in the debugging mode and we will see what are the various parts of select option so a select option has four parts what is first part first part is called as sign second part is called as option third part is called as low and fourth part is called as high a select option has always always four parts first one is sign second one is option third one is low and the fourth one is high now what is sign sign always always has a length of 1 always sign has a length of 1 and it has always always two values if it has a length of 1 it means it can only store one character so it will always store i or e i stands for include and e stands for exclude now we will come on to the second part what is second part second part is called as option now what is option option is a relational operator now what do you mean by relational operator equal to between less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to these all are what relational operator and what is the length of option the length of option is always always 2 so have you seen eq length of 2 bt length of 2 lt length of 2 so option has always always a length of 2 now what is low and what is high low means low value high means high value in the previous video i also put stress on this whenever i am suppose running this program this is called as low value this is called as high value and what is the length of low and high it depends upon the field itself suppose i created a select option for order number now what is the length and type of order number the type is numeric the length is 10 so low and high has a length of 10 in this case so low and high length depends upon the field for which field you are creating a select option suppose i am creating a select option for material number material number has a length of 18 or 40 then low and high will be automatically 18 or automatically 40 so low and high depends upon the particular field for which field you are creating a select option so a select option has four parts first one is sign 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 has always a length of 1 and what are the values i and e i stands for include e stands for exclude now what is option option is relational operator relational operator means less than equal to greater than greater than equal to between these all are what relational operators low means low value and high means high value option has a length of 2 and the low and high length depends upon the field for which field you are creating a select option now for the best understanding we will see select option in the debugging mode 
and most most important understanding so what i will do suppose in this program i will simply write a write statement so that i can show you in debugging mode and you will understand fully how a select option is i am putting a breakpoint i am running the program now firstly we will start with low value low value this is called as low value suppose i am only putting one we'll firstly start with only low value i am going to execute i am in debugging mode now firstly i will double click on the select option name what is select option name s underscore o number i am double clicking whenever i double clicked have you seen we are able to see two things together and in the previous videos we covered we have a internal table with header line we have a internal table without header line what is internal table with header line in case of internal table with header line we have a implicit work area we have a internal work area and sap automatically create the work area what is the name of the work area it is same as that of internal table have you seen i double click on s underscore o and no one thing is coming with brackets one thing is coming without brackets it means this is internal table and this is what work area so if someone ask you is select option is a internal table answer is yes select option is a internal table it is a internal table with header line with header line when we covered the topic at that time i told you in the future the learning of with header line and without header line will play a vital role so select option is a internal table itself it is a internal table with header line suppose if i will double click on to this table this is internal table this is work area both name are same if i will double click on the internal table now you can see is this a internal table yes it is a internal table an internal table has how many column sign option low and high what are those four column sign option low and high this is a internal table and we have a bracket with that bracket if i will double click on the work area see this is work area it is not in the form of table it is in the form of work area so as of now what we did we put only the low value low value just see how the select option is what is the value of sign sign has only one length you can see character one and what is the what is the value i i stands for what include now what is relational operator relational operator is equal to and what is the low value you put one and what is the high value high value is zero and have you seen low and high has a automatically length of numeric 10 why numeric 10 because our order number is numeric 10 so if someone ask you if you are only putting the low value how the select option is answer is the value of sign is i i means you are including the value 1 and what is the relational operator equal to equal to so whenever you are passing the low value the relational operator is equal to so what is the summary of this video in this video we studied what are the various parts of a select option one of the most important topic a select option has four parts sign option low high sign has a length of 1 and it has always always two values i and e 
I stands for include, E stands for exclude. Now, second is option. Option has a length of two. Option stands for relational operator. Relational operator means equal to, between, less than, greater than, etc. Low means low value and high means high value. Then what we did, we simply put the low value. And when we put the low value, we saw in that debugging mode, select option is ultimately a internal table with header line. Name of the internal table is same as that of work area. Work area and internal table both are same. It is a most important understanding that select option is an internal table with header line. And when you put the low value, the relational operator is equal to in that case and sign is equal to I. In the next video, we will go for other permutation and combination so that this topic will make more and more sense to you. So that's it in this video. Thank you.